everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Jessica and I'm a past life regression practitioner and I help people unlock themselves and reach higher levels of consciousness and I share a lot of valuable information on this YouTube channel from the messages that I'm receiving from my guides and to help others on their ascension path journey. So if you are new, welcome. If you are um, currently subscribed, welcome back. Um, I do encourage you to subscribe if you are not yet subscribed to my channel so that you can get future notifications when videos do come out, when new videos do come out. But today's video is all about the New Earth financial system. And I'm gonna be sharing a channeled message that I received um, during a past life regression session that came through. And this is coming from Archangel Metatron, and he had a message uh, about the New Earth financial system. So lots of changes are happening on the world today as we are transitioning from a lower density vibration to a higher vibrational planet, also known as transitioning from an old Earth frequency consciousness to a higher consciousness, fifth dimensional consciousness, new earth consciousness so this video is going to help any issues or any questions that you may have around what this monetary financial system is going to look like um, when we do ascend into the fifth dimension so i was told uh, over the last year or two as things are starting to dissolve in this 3D world as uh, the corruption is rearing its ugly head for everybody to take a look at so that we can see how our planet has been enslaved for hundreds if not thousands of years. And we are going through this dissolving currently, a lot of focus on the government systems and I was told that after this government system collapses, because um, we have lots of systems, lots of programs that are going to be falling apart so that new ones can be rebuilt and reconstructed, recon reconstructed, uh, and these would be what we would consider the new earth, the newer vibrational systems and programs that are based in heart, that are based in unity, that are based in the goodness of humanity. And um, it's going to be a process, quite a big process to uh, continue dissolving all of these systems because they have been so ingrained into humanity, into the human collective, into the earth itself. And so it's gonna be a process, but the government systems are kind of going to be the first ones that are going to be collapsing. And then they said the financial system will be collapsing. And they did say that the stock market will completely be dissolved. And timing on that, they were not sure. Uh, but I will provide any updates that I have um, when that comes through with what to look for. But they did say... Uh, as far as the stock market, that when things start to fall apart because the stock market is corrupt and um, it's a system that will no longer exist in the fifth dimension, so it does need to fall, it does need to collapse. Um, but not only that's going to happen, um, we're actually going to completely do away with all monetary system, meaning it's not going to be based in money any longer. And um, so we're going to be seeing not only the stock market collapse, but we're going to be seeing a lot of this entire system change. And it can be a little scary if you aren't aware of what's happening or what's going on. Um, but just know whatever you start to see within the financial system, um, we are going to start seeing, seeing it and it's going to intensify as we... Uh, move forward in the coming months, in the coming years. Uh, there's no way to really predict exact time frame of what's going to happen. Uh, but I wanted to put this video out and share this message that I did get uh, to help you guys not only prepare, but just be aware. And so it can eliminate any fear that might be around what is happening on the earth and to help you navigate this um, transition period that we're going to be that we are currently in and that we're going to be in the next few years is what I would probably guess um, could be sooner could be later 
Uh, but I want to share this exact message that came through. And they said that the monetary financial systems will eventually not exist as they do today. Um, when this first all gets taken down, the money will be redistributed to communities and people will be paid back. So this message came through when I asked if, um, you know, what's going to happen to the financial system and all of the money that humanity has been given to these corrupt systems and the corrupt, you know, things with the taxes and all of the money that has been taken from humanity. My question when this came through was, will we get that money back? And what happens to the millions and billions of dollars that has been taken from humanity and that's been completely obviously mismanaged, um, but there is a significant amount of money, even though it may seem like everyone or that the government is broke and they're in debt and all of this, there's still a lot of money. And I wanted to find out if it's going to be redistributed to humanity. So just keep that in mind. All right, so there will be things set aside for community services. There will be things that will happen with that money during the time in between that is still the monetary system you have today. So there'll be, this is what will happen with the communities um, when we're in this transitional period. So the, the process of this whole evolution, the process of the whole transition, the shift from the 3D to the 5D, the old earth to the new earth is going to take a lot of time. And so they're saying that like during that time, as we get closer to the fifth dimension, this is how it will be distributed. Um, so as it changes, the energy will not be within the money. So we're eventually going to no monetary system with money. So the energy will be in the change within these individuals. If they choose to continue to serve themselves and to serve those that have been regarded as their peers and stick to the contracts that they made with these other people, companies, corporations, and governments, they will have an opportunity to replace that money with the ability to influence and spread the light. So what they were saying is a lot of the people that are in charge, we can say in, in the government and in Congress, in all of these huge corporations and businesses that have been pretty much hijacking all of the money, a, a ton of money from humanity and are using it in very corrupt ways. Um, they are saying as we get closer into the fifth dimension, that a lot of these people are going to be turning to the light. So they will have an opportunity to do the right thing and make those choices um, because they are choosing the path of the light. They are choosing to ascend. And a lot of that's kind of hard to digest right now because there is so much corruption. Um, but we are over the coming years going to see a lot of these people that are kind of in between, that haven't made a choice whether they're gonna choose the dark side or the light side, whether they're gonna to choose to ascend with the 5D Earth or stay with the 3D Earth. Um, these people will have that decision to make which path they want to choose. And a lot of them will be choosing the path of the light. So therefore, they will have opportunity to do things within a heart frequency to help the goodness of all of humanity as a whole. Um, there are those super corrupt individuals that will be completely removed from the planet that won't even be here, but I'm talking about a lot of them are like the CEOs and the people that are lower down the line um, but have a lot of power and a lot of control over the systems and the structures and, and under Congress and how the government's ran and where the money's being distributed and, and all of that. 
So um, some will choose to do that and they will go into communities and be good citizens. Their intentions will change from themselves to doing things for others. So they will transition out of being in service to themselves into being in service to others. This whole financial system will be completely dif different than it is today. Money represents power and that power will be taken away. So money will no longer be a necessity for the fifth dimension. It will no longer be something that is held in front of somebody for a goal to achieve. So they are saying that our entire society has been built on this system, this monetary system of money. You know, we're programmed and we're taught from the time we're a child uh, to go get educated and focus on figuring out your career and making money. And everything is based on class and division of, you know, how much money you're making, what you, can you buy, what job, how much, uh, you know, are you going to get paid with your job and so forth? And what kind of education do you need to do? What kind of college or university do you need to attend so that you can get, you know, higher up in this system or, or, you know, whatever your goal is. But it's always been to where society is very, very focused on money and that is like the ultimate goal in life. And that is that third dimensional world and that is due to the enslavement of humanity. So um, that power that they are talking about there with the money that it has had so much power and control over the human consciousness and over humanity. We've been brainwashed with all of this information to um, create everything based off of money. Um, so that will be taken away. So money will no longer be a necessity. It will no longer be something that is held in front of somebody for a goal to achieve. Okay, so I already said that. So this is how corruption has taken hold of this whole society that we call the earth. Um, money has taken many people down as they have tried to gain more money through gaining more power. It walks hand in hand. This will be completely taken away. So it's no longer going to be that ultimate goal that we are trying to achieve in life. It, it's that the whole thing of like we've got to figure out how to make money and, and career and job and everybody gets paid a different salary or you or all of that. All of that's going to be completely taken away. And I know it's really hard to digest exactly how we have a society operating from um, no monetary system. Um, but they have said that it will kind of go back to trade. So trading for things like they did back in the day, how everything was, you know, based in trading. Um, I did ask as well about gold and silver and if that's going to be something necessary that we need to have. And they said there might be a time like temporarily as we're going through this um, transition that you will want some gold or silver, but it's not going to be necessary. There will be a point in time that you will want to have cash in hand while we're going through this transition. Um, because the banks are going to be collapsing as well. Not to put fear out there, but there's going to be uh, lots of warning to know that, hey, okay, something is going on or something's about to go down with these financial institutions and the banking systems because they're all massively corrupt, so they all need to collapse. So there will be a time, uh, but humanity will know when that time comes and if there's any information that I have that I need to come out to humanity, I'll be sure to, to share that when it gets closer to that time. Um, I'm not sure when that's coming up, but anyway, so during that time, you will want to have either gold or silver or cash on hand and it's going to not be where we're having to rely on the financial um, banks, you know, with debit cards and, and all of that. So there's going to be a period of time that we're going to have to go back to just using cash and um, trading with gold and, and silver. But as far as the fifth dimension, um, like no cash will be needed and no gold, no silver, none of that will, 
will be necessary, but during a specific period of time when we're in that transition, yes, it will be wise to have some of that cash on hand and, and um, silver and gold. So I just wanted to clarify clarify that, um, but things will be um, created through our mind's eye, and they will be created how our soul is used to creating things. And when we're into the fifth dimension, we're going to be in our light bodies, so we will be out of our more physical bodies where it's very dense, very heavy, and um, carbon-based DNA. We're going to be going into a crystalline DNA body, and with that comes it not. It, we're not going to rely as much on physical food that we need to eat to nourish our bodies like we do today. It will be very minimal food eventually. Um, it'll be back to, you know, lots of fruits and vegetables. But our bodies, because our DNA is going to be changing, isn't going to need nearly as much food as we have today. And it won't need all that dense food that we have been eating because we're going to be lighter. We're going to be going into a light body. So it's just not going to be this dense, heavy, weighted down physical body that we're in today. And so the food thing, that will transition because we're not going to be so reliant on all of the food that we need. Um, but everything will be created like telepathically. Communication will be telepathically with other people. And it will be where we're able to create whatever we would like. So if you want a home in the mountains, you can create that through your mind's eye. And it can be created without money. <laughs> And if you want to live by the beach, you can have your house on the beach. You can have it as big as you want, as small as you want. Um, it's going to just be based on what you can create and what you want to experience on this earth. It will be very, very different than what it feels like today because you don't need all the physical things. It will be, uh, everything will be light. So not only your physical bodies, but everything else will be just a different frequency. So it's not going to have that density with, um, with all of the buildings and, and everything else as well. So things will just be quite different. So it's hard sometimes to wrap our head around that earth and how that will look. Um, even myself, I still try and ask a lot of questions because I'm like, how is this going to look? What is this going to be like for humans? Are people going to be freaking out because we're not going to have any clue of how to exist in that world, but just know that that's actually what we're familiar with. That's what we're comfortable with. And this dense body and this dense experience that we're having in physicality within the th 3D world that we're in right now is what we're not used to. And this is what's challenging and this is what is difficult. So it'll come back to remembering how to be where we're used to being. Well, actually, most of us will even be at a higher dimension than a fifth dimension. Uh, but the fifth dimension is kind of just like a baseline. And it's just the way humans describe this transition because it's something that we can understand when we're going from something like 3D. We understand, okay. Then we're going into 5D, um, but know that when the 5D is created, that you can be at a higher level of consciousness. And so it won't just be fifth dimension. Fifth dimension will be the baseline. So it'll be the baseline of 5D and up. And I'm not sure exactly how the, you know, higher up the dimensions go, how many dimensions there's going to be, um, but I do know after a certain dimension, and I want to say it might be around the eighth dimension, um, that you don't any longer need any kind of body. So you're just back to your like pure light, because that's what we are. We're light, or what you would call your soul, your spirit, your consciousness. What we are is light. And so the higher up the dimensions go, the more you go back to your lightness. Um, and so the farther that you go down, the more physical you become. So the 3D to the 5D, like you still have your 
physical body because we're actually ascending our physical body. So we're restructuring our physical body. So we're going to still have our physical bodies in the 5D in the new earth. Uh, but if you are vibrating on a higher frequency than the 5D, then there's a chance that you don't have your physical body. And when I ask that specific question, you know, like what happens to our bodies? Like what if, you know, we don't want our bodies anymore or we don't, we want to leave our physical bodies and you will have a choice to do that. But everybody's kind of going through the transition to keep their physical bodies because we, it is a physical ascension. It is something that we're doing in our physical form and our DNA, our cells, like everything is changing within the human body suit that we're wearing. Um, but there will be a point where you get to choose whether you want to keep your physical body or whether you want to have the experience without having this physical body that you came here in and you will still be able to experience the fifth dimension earth, the new earth, and you don't have to have your physical body to do that. But that comes like later down the road or that comes with like what what dimension that you're going to be vibrating at. So hopefully that makes sense. I know that's kind of a lot of information, um, a lot to think about, but if you have any questions, please let me know. And as always, uh, trust and know that everything is happening and falling into place at the right time, the divine plan. Everything is working out on the ascension path right now, even though it may look chaotic and even though all these things are occurring around the earth globally with the wars and uh, so much tension and divide. And uh, that is exactly what needs to be happening right now. That is exactly what it takes to help awaken the rest of humanity. And everything is exactly where it needs to be. Of course, we have different timelines that we could be going on. We have, you know, different events that could alter different timelines. But overall, this is exactly where we need to be with humanity. Mother Earth is happy with the way things are. The Galactic Federation is happy with the way things are. Everything is moving very um, rapidly and we're on the right track. So always remember that and don't get into fear when you do start to see more things collapse because that is what needs to happen and just stay in your heart, stay in trust, stay in surrender. And of course, during this transitional period that we're in for these years that you do just prepare um, because we still have to um, be aware and take care of our needs as you know, human beings to make sure we have food and nourishment and water and housing and shelter. Um, so there'll be things and opportunities that will be coming up for us to unite more and to care more about our neighbors and connect in a deeper way. Um, but just know all of this is exactly the way that it needs to be to unfold into this miraculous shift and evolution ascension that we are all going through and there's nothing to fear. Um, I also wanted to let you know that I have a ascension guidebook that's really helpful to help all of you. So if you have not downloaded that, I encourage you to download it. I put a link in the description below. You can click on that. It's free. It has uh, really great tools that can assist you as we're going through this transitional, transitional period. All right, so I will see you guys next time. And be sure to subscribe if you have not. And hope you have an amazing day. Bye-bye.